Nearly 400 kilometers north of Mumbai city lies Jalgaon district. A rustic terrain with over 1500 villages spread around the foothills of the Satpura range. Agriculture is the primary livelihood for people here as the land is known to be fertile with two rivers cutting through its landscape. This region is also known as the banana bowl of western India and enjoys an ecologically diverse landscape. From cotton to maize to a range of fruits and vegetables, farmers in this region have periodically switched their primary harvest depending on what brings them the maximum yield. But over the years this kind of intensive farming with over irrigated fields has taken a toll on the fertility of the soil. As the soil started to degrade, the dependency on the use of chemical inputs increased. That in turn affected the organic health of the soil. If we are adding something to the soil, over a period of time there is a lot of degradation of the soil. If you take today's example, in Jalgao, the soil organic carbon has come down to 0.2%. So it has to be minimum 0.5% or 0.7% or minimum 1%. It has come down because of the intensive cropping. Over the years, there has been an unprecedented spike in the use of chemical fertilizers in this region. So much so that it started to affect the health of the farmers. Thirty-year-old Chandrakant is a cotton farmer from Jalgaon. In 2019, he fell sick, and even after repeated treatments, there was no improvement in his health. Kokla ani barik thandi tapi hel survaj zaliyudi. Ratri thandi vajun yaichi. Tertya madhe mala ekstra madhe pneumonia ani gala sir. And in the blood report, there was a creatine 2.8 the kidney disease. There was a lot Chandrakant is one among many young farmers in this part of the country who developed kidney problems with no prior medical history. The silent health crisis was first flagged by Dr. Prashant Rajput a nephrologist from Mumbai who would occasionally come to his ancestral village in Jalgaon to spend time with his parents. This is um, one of the regions in the world where uh, you have a very high consumption of uh, fertilizers uh, for plant nutrition. In 2016, uh, when I started an outpatient uh, clinic in Jalgaon, and uh, then I realized that uh, there were so many pe people uh, from the region um, coming in uh, with uh, chronic kidney disease of uh, unknown etiology. And uh, that's what uh, made me think that uh, there is definitely impact uh, of the degraded soil and the exposure uh, of uh, uh, pesticides and herbicides to these patients, which is leading to autoimmune disease and uh, the chronic kidney disease. Dr. Prashant's hypothesis was further corroborated by local doctors who have also seen a steady increase in autoimmune diseases among farmers. एक दो देहात हमारे तालुका में है कि हर घर में से एक किडनी का बीमारी का पेशेंट दिया है किडनी डायलिसिस पर है या तो किडनी ट्रांसप्लांट करने की जरूरत है आंग पर गिरने के बाद में जो स्प्रे करते हैं या तो हवा में से गए तो उससे भी पॉइजनिंग हुए पेशेंट देखा हुआ बहुत सारे पेशेंट देखे जब क्रॉप बड़े हो जाते हैं और उसके स्प्रिंग करते हुए हवा में से सांस में से जाता है तो उससे भी पॉइजन हो जाता है हमको बहुत सारे पेशेंट को वेंटिलेटर भी रखने पड़ा है फॉर डॉक्टर प्रशांत राजपूत दिस अनचेक्ड हेल्थ एपिडेमिक आल्सो लेड टू अ पर्सनल ट्रेजेडी in 2013, he lost his father to an autoimmune disease. The city doctor was now left with the responsibility of looking after his father's fields, but he wanted to do this differently, free of any chemical inputs. He reached out to Dr. K. P. Patel. I told him, I want uh, this uh, to be completely chemical free. What can you do for me? He says, yes, we can uh, uh, produce uh, fertilizers on the site just next to the plant. 
and uh, but I told him how can we do this he says ki yes there is a method Together they discovered a farming method called regenerative agriculture a concept already popular in the western world This was based on the science of converting the atmospheric carbon produced during photosynthesis by using a cover crop next to the primary crop This cover crop acts as a living root that works as a natural carbon converter and adds the necessary organic matter needed for the soil to be healthy and fertile again. The entire process is called the liquid carbon theory. So this is uh, what the liquid carbon th theory is where we are uh, decomposing the high carbon organic matter through microbes into the soil adding fertility to the soil and eventually what will happen is all this what you are seeing will eventually get decomposed by what we call as a geochemical uh, breakdown and this actually provides nutrients to the soil your soil fertility improves and your productivity uh, actually goes up multi folds then your actual uh, chemical farming and what you get is this dark soil which is very very rich in carbon and you can see the soil aggregates which is an indication that this soil contains very high amounts of this uh, glue which is known as gromelin so this is uh, the conversion of uh, the electrochemical energy into this uh, sticky substance in the soil which lasts for maybe decades Uh, is a very very strong indicator of soil fertility through this unique regenerative method of fertilizing the soil the doctor turned farmer was able to grow a range of products like sweet oranges custard apples turmeric papaya and ginger this was significant as fruits are often the most challenging to grow without the help of any chemical inputs But here in the doctor's farm the produce was not only rich with organic nutrients but was also growing faster than conventional methods Usually the custard apple a uh, non grafted seedling custard apple usually flowers uh, at 4 uh, uh, years in a traditionally grown field but what happened here was completely mind blowing so we started getting the flowers at 6 months and uh, which we obviously uh, uh, we wanted the plant to grow and we didn't want uh, the stress of fruiting but uh, at 2 years we now had a bumper harvest and uh, of custard apples approximately uh, i must have harvested about 10 tons of uh, that this year without any use of any chemicals and that is uh, only because of the practices which we adopted we used cover crops we used uh, a green a living root on the bed and every inch of our farm had a living root and this uh, with the power of uh, sunlight the air and uh, the water grew fruit the way it was supposed to grow today this country is a food sufficient country we have around 384 million tons production of food grain but this country is not nutritional secure country so to make this country as a nutritional secure country we have to look at to the model like what we say regenerative farming and high tech farming both kiti tivrata hai ya sunlight ki ani yachyamadhe kutle prakarcha photosynthesis dr prashant is now taking his learning beyond his farms and trains other farmers in jalgaon to move to regenerative techniques One of the first people he was able to convince was Chandrakant Patel. He is now growing oranges and lemons after being trained by Dr. Prashant. रासायनिक शेती करता करता मला किडनी डिसीज सारखा आजार उद्भवला तसे अनेक लोकांना भी वेगवेगळ्या प्रकारचे आजार होता कॅन्सर झाला टीबी झाला असे बरेच आजार रासायनिक शेतीमुळे लोकांना होत आहे तसे आजार होऊ नये म्हणून आपण सेंद्रिय शेतीकडे वळाल पाहिल भले त्याचे थोडंफार उत्पन्न कमी असेल पण आपल्याला सेंद्रियकडे ओढावंच लागणार आहे कारण आपले नवीन जी पिढी येते त्यांना आपल्याला चांगलं खायला द्यायचं आहे त्यांना व्यवस्थित भेटायला पाहिजे सगळे व्हिटॅमिन्स भेटायला पाहिजे रासायनिकमुळे सगळं नष्ट झालेलं आहे ते जुनं जे होतं ते तर आपल्याला ते नवीन पिढीला सगळं आपल्या जोडून भेटायला पाहिजे 
तो ताकि अपने प्रयत्न करत रहा लगे आ रासायनिक सेंद्रीय शेतीक लोकान ओढ़ाव लग So far, Dr. Prashant has trained hundreds of farmers across Maharashtra and Gujarat to use regenerative agricultural techniques. He has now made it his mission to reach out to as many as he can, particularly from those regions where there is excessive use of chemical fertilizers. Everybody wants security. They want uh, a financial security. And uh, once we were able to show them that this is how we do, and uh, this is our profitability, and this is. Uh, something which is working they uh, many of them started realizing ki we should uh, significantly reduce or cut the inputs and uh, go back to the way it was farmed say 100 years ago regenerative agriculture i feel is not only a solution for the current um, health crisis it's a solution for the current environmental crisis as well as uh, the crisis of the climate which is going to have a major ecological impact Thanks for watching Eco India if you like the story please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube